So, welcome back to Rick's Kit. Um, you can see a painted, well, I say painted, semi-painted, really destroyed looking uh, Frank. Japanese Frank. Uh, three years ago, I um, started this endeavour to do a really weathered looking aircraft. Um, but it turned into a pile of crap, basically. And I dumped it in the box and I've left it and left it and left it and left it. Um, but over those three years, the videos that I was making at the time, I would think I was streaming them. Um, they've had thousands of views. And I thought, well, people are prepared to watch a piece of crap like this game <laughs> developed. I think I ought to bring it back to the bench and uh, see what I can actually do with it. So it's going to be ripped up paint where I can. I'm going to shove it in an IPA bath. Uh, I don't really want to get anything inside on the cockpit, so it looks reasonably safe around this area. Can go too deep though, and uh, it's going to have an IPA bath. Try and strip some of this down. Uh, I really don't want to destroy the look of the engine, though I could probably break the front end of this cowl. And no, it doesn't look like I can actually. I say I could break the front end of the cowl and often say that, so uh, that might not be the case. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the IPA bath and and. Start the, start the top all over again. Uh, I'll see you in a bit when I've got something sorted out. Welcome back. As you can see, I've eliminated uh, the majority of the paint off of the aircraft. Uh, I've gone over it with a very, very fine sanding stick. Uh, I think it was something like 3,600 grit. Take out some of the imperfections. Uh, I need to put a bit of putty back into that wing root there. It's a bit open, unlike the other side. Uh, so we'd, I've made the decision now to um, <clears throat> do this as an aluminium airframe. So we'll uh, coat it over with a black primer and then go in with. Um, I think what we'll use is this uh, E-stand metallic lacquer, uh, a bit, a bit shiny in here, but that is white aluminium. Quite nice paints actually, they go through the airbrush really well. I, do, I actually do recommend them, they're quite good. So I need to patty this up and get this into a black primer and then we'll put an aluminium coat over the top and we'll go from there. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, black primer's on. I'm doing pretty damn well. Um, fairly, fairly smooth finish on it. I might just uh, go over it slightly with... Uh, very fine grade. Oh, crikey. Because uh, it, it's, it's very hot in where I am at this moment in time. And that, that in here it feels a bit rough compared to here where it's quite smooth. So we're a little bit rough in places where it's dried a little bit too quick. So I'll give it a splash of. Uh, Splash. Uh, I'll give it a quick, a very quick rub down. I oh, know with a 3600 or a 4000 grit just to take the edge off of that. Give it about an hour. 
Okay, welcome back. See, I've got some development on the aircraft. Uh, I broke off the tail wheel, so I've got to get that uh, painted up and glued back into position. Um, so we've gone for a aluminium finish uh, aircraft, which in the instructions is uh, the first unit of the 104th Air Group. Uh, 1945 Anshan Airfield in South Manchuria. Uh, so it's got yellow on the wingtips, and um, we've got black across the uh, anti glare panel, which is black. Um, we have red and yellow on the tail fin. Red prop, green on the front, red brown, wood type finish. Back. Rest of the undercarriage to finish, got the aerial to finish. Uh, next step on this is decals and another clear coat. Uh, undercarriage to go on. Um, exhaust. Those pipes to paint up, and then this one will be finished. I mean, it's been quite a, quite a few years in the making, and probably disappointed by a lot of people that have been watching the videos back then. Um, this is one of those things. Uh, I've got it through to the finish line, so yeah, you know, the next time you see this, it should be finished. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. We now have a finished Nakajima KI 841A. We are, we are Tay Frank. Oh, God, I can barely get that out. Um, so, any of you that have viewed my original videos on this one, uh, my I think they were my live videos, uh, I got a bit disappointed with the finish that I was trying to achieve with it so it went back in the uh, back in the box um, and after doing the uh, jug the other day the uh, little razor back I thought you know I'm get, starting to get a little bit back into this aircraft thing I mean I'm by no means very good at aircraft but I decided to strip it down and give it a repaint and this is the result that I've now achieved with a little bit of subtle weathering to give it a, uh, a worn look for late in the war so, uh, the only thing I am disappointed with is I broke the tail wheel uh, it's now super glued on. It's been off at least three times. Um, and the other thing that's uh, disappointed for me is the engine has come unstuck inside the cowl in there. So front end's a bit loose. But yeah, that's it. So I've taken her from the Japanese green to a dull silver aluminium weathered down the Pinamari Pinamari? Yeah. just to give it a used look a bit of exhaust staining on it uh, it hasn't come out too bad a little bit of masking to take off on this side that's still there well, we can take it. Next one. So yeah, very pleased with the way that came out. 
the undercarriage went down really well. Uh, for a very old Tamiya kit, I tell you what, these decal, these these look like they're painted on. I can tell you they look. Believe me, they're not. That, that is a decal. That is extremely thin. Um, the decal paper yellowed. I was expecting them to disintegrate, but they didn't. And wow, I mean, they went down absolutely brilliantly. They really did. My Hiate Frank. Might have to see if I can get an Oscar at some point. I want to thank all the um, new subscribers that come on board. Push me over the uh, 400 mark. Thank you very, very much. Um, and also, about realising it, last weekend was the anniversary, the fourth year anniversary. Four year, yeah, four year anniversary of my channel. So I've been on there four years. A little bit of hiatus in between. But anyway, thank you everyone for being part of my channel. I appreciate you. Oh, I really do. Um, I'll leave it here and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.